Hey there Clashers and welcome back and today we're going to take a look at some epic queen charge attacks from the clan King Muchtaba. Alright, here we go. Can King Muchtaba close out this match here with this attack? Let's see. Looks like Queen Charge Dragon Rider starting off with some early rocket balloons. Wasn't expecting the Teslas there. Trying to get that air defense out of the way early, but it stays alive. And it's getting healed back up as well. We got the Queen coming in on the left side. She's going to work her way. Is she going to go down? Yeah, I think she's going to go to the right. There she goes. He's got a wall breaker in towards the eagle area. Queen's going to walk in for the scatter shot. It's nice that she just kind of went in on her own. I don't think he wants her to go for the eagle. I think that's for the king. I could be wrong, though. But we got a headhunter in for the enemy queen. So the enemy queen's going to go down. His queen's still taking a lot of damage. But that rage is keeping her from using that ability. There's the next rage for the queen. And here we go. King is in. King's going to work in towards the eagle. Let's see where he wants this queen to go. He does have a jump spell, so he's going to jump the queen to the core of the base. He's got the flame flamethlinger selected at the moment as well. Let's see if that's what he's going to use here. No, he's going to switch to the blimp. He's going to blimp the town hall, get it taken out. There we go. Drops the blimp right on the town hall. He's got the CC lured out. Queen's going to fight the hound and the headhunters there. King does get the eagle taken out. He's got the RC down there as well. And here come the dragon riders from the right side of the base. So town hall is secured. Queen's getting through the CC in the core. His RC is going to fight the enemy RC. Pops the warden's ability. He's got dragon riders pushing in. He still has a rage to use. Still has queen's ability as well. It's looking pretty decent here. He still has to fight that sweeper. RC is going to get it taken out though. He's got an ice golem in there as well. And that's going to help do a little bit of tanking here. Maybe. If it even needs to. So the single is going to go down. Archer tower drops. He's got an invis. He can keep his RC alive a little bit longer as well. Looks like he wants to swag the invis though. So the RC dies. He's got 40 seconds left. The queen's worked her way around the outside of the base. And the healers have decided that the uh, ice golem is the most important thing to heal up. So this is a super wall breaker that he doesn't need. Queen's got her ability still. 25 seconds should be enough to get through these storages. The skellies are going to hold her up a little bit. This is actually getting a little bit close on time here. But the queen's still pushing through. Ice golem finally dies and freezes some things. And it's not important. 10 seconds left. Can the queen do it? He pops her ability. She gets through the collector. One collector left to go. And there's the triple... And that's pretty much going to seal the deal here for King Muchtaba. Next attack from King Muchtaba is in. Coming in with a Lalo this time. So Queen Charge Lalo, to be specific. Some early archers to work on those in barracks. I believe he wants the Queen to go left and in for the Eagle. Maybe? We'll see. Looks like she is going to go that way. It's being patient with the healers. There's really no damage on the queen anyway. She's going to be able to work all the way into that compartment without needing the healers. She's onto the air defense now. So once it drops, he can send the healers. Might be working on something else as well that I'm missing. Zoom out a little bit so we can see the rest of the map. But here are the healers. Eagle goes down nice and early. He's going to need a rage spell for that queen. There we go. Very nice. She's still under quite a bit of fire here. She might actually still go to ability. He's going to freeze up the scatter. He's able to hold on to the queen's ability. Drops in another rage. He's going to freeze up the expo and the enemy RC. Here comes the log launcher in behind the queen. Looks like he's going to try and push this queen all the way to the town hall. Got the CC lured out, at least partially. Got some headhunters over there with some archers. I'd imagine there's still a Lava Hound in there. Log Launcher's being hit by the Expo. It's going to go down. Can it open up to the Town Hall? 
One more log going through, and no, not quite. Those walls are on one HP. So hopefully the queen beats on a wall when she gets up there. Here we go, we got the king on the bottom side. Still hanging on to the RC. No, the RC's in with the king. Rage fell down for the queen. Healers are being hit by the multi, but the ice golem freezes it up. Needs that queen to work through and get the multi taken care of before the healers all die. But here we go with the Lalo from the right side. The multi goes down just in time for those healers to stay alive. As long as they don't find any red air bombs, they're going to be fine. But the single Inferno is locked onto the queen. Has to take her to ability. Balloons are moving in. Hopefully they can get there and start distracting that single Inferno. He does still have an invis. He's going to go ahead and drop it here. He has to to keep that queen alive. Queen's beating on a bad wall. She needed to go to the left more. It's going to freeze up the town hall. Rage over the town hall as well. Still has that warden ability late into this attack. He's going to go ahead and pop it here. Those balloons are going to take the town hall down. Push through to the backside. There's really nothing left on this base. This is going to be a nice triple here for King Muchtaba. Beautiful hit. Still got a balloon in the bag for cleanup. Not even going to need it. Queen charge super dragons. Okay. Starting off with some zaps. Looks like we took out an inferno tower, an expo, and some builder huts. We got both sweepers pointing to the right. I wonder if we're going to try and fly these dragons straight into the sweepers again. We've seen that a couple of times today, which is extremely odd. Rage spell down for the queen charge. She'll be able to take out the enemy RC. It's going to push her in for the scatter. Blimp over the top of the queen for the town hall. All right. It does make it no problem. Looks like it's going to be a safe sneaky blimp. He does have a Yeti in there. It's going to help take care of uh, one more defense, I think. Queen's still pushing in. She needs to get that expo down. He sends a balloon in for the expo. Nothing's going to target that balloon, so it'll get it down eventually. He's got a rage spell in for the queen. She finds more skelly traps. Some minions off to the right. Where are we going to send in these dragons? Here we go. He's going to send them in through where the town hall was at. So he's definitely going in behind the sweepers. That one super dragon is in. We got the king on the far left. The only thing that might be an issue here is the back end eagle. It's going to be up for a while firing at these e-dragons. But we'll see if they can push through. King has walked into that compartment on the left. Hopefully he can bounce back out to the outside. Queen's fighting the hound on the right side. The poison's going to expire, so she's going to have to fight those pups for a little while. We do still have a super wall breaker and a couple of freezes. We pop the warden's ability. RC is able to get through the single inferno. So the RC is still pushing through the core. She's got her ability. She will be able to take care of both of those air defenses for sure. Can she push through for the eagle? It looks like she will. He's got two freezes to make sure she gets it done. Queen's still pushing through on the right side. Super Dragon's on the top side. This is looking good for King Muchtaba. Eagle does go down. RC's on to the multi. Still has those two freezes. He's not going to need them here. This is going to be another triple for King Muchtaba. Very nicely done. Last Archer Tower goes down. Last couple of defenses will go down to the Queen. She's not going down anytime soon. Swag's the Queen ability as well. So four and one. Half to triple. And there you have it, some great queen charge attacks in there. Let me know what you guys think of this down in the comments below. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up and that subscribe button down below, especially if you want to see more Clash content from me. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I will see you all next time.